Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this mint green pie. Now this is perfect for St. Patrick's Day, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned and keep watching to see how to make this. Now this is part of a collaboration with my friend Vincenzo from Vincenzo's Plate, and you're going to hear from him in just a moment, and you can see what he's making. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. My name is Vincenzo from the YouTube channel Vincenzo's Plate, and uh, I make authentic, delicious Italian recipes that you guys will love, your family, your friends will love, made with love for you. Today's video recipe is tagliatelle with prawns, pistacchio cream, and a lemon glaze. Simply delicious. Come and check out uh, my channel and please subscribe. Back to you, James. So for now, I'll keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make this. To start with, we're going to start with a package of Oreo cookies. Now this is mint green Oreo cookies. Now you don't need the mint Oreo cookies, you can just use regular Oreo cookies. Very important with Oreo cookies, when you're working with them, you want to use the whole package minus one. Now add your Oreo cookies to your food processor. Now just put the top on and pulse. What I have here are some green sprinkles, add it to it, and hopefully we'll be able to see them shine through. And now what I have here is five tablespoons of butter. This is melted butter, and we're just going to pour that in and give that a mix. So now what we have here is this nice base, and we're going to use that to line our pan. So now I have a small spring forward pan and I'm just going to empty out my uh, contents of my crust. And you can just simply take a spoon or if you want the back of a measuring cup that works really well. And you just want to push it in and kind of have it go up the sides as well. Okay, so now the sides are done. What we're going to do is grind up some more Oreo cookies and do the same process, but then just fill in the bottom. And when you're happy with how thick you have yours, you can just set it in the refrigerator for anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes so it'll firm up nicely. Now we're going to take one cup of whole milk and put it into a pot. We're going to take this, we're going to take it over to the stove. Melt one 10.5 ounce package of marshmallows over medium heat. Use a larger pot than you think you'll need because it will expand. When all the marshmallows have melted, then turn off the heat. Add one teaspoon of mint extract and mix. Then add some green food coloring and mix it in well. So next we're going to start with a cold bowl. This is my mixing bowl and also a cold uh, whisk. Add one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Whisk on high until it forms stiff peaks. It's formed stiff peaks, and that's exactly what we want. We want it to be nice and firm. So now that we've got our whipping cream all firmed up, just like a Cool Whip, so now we're gonna take our marshmallow and mint green mixture, and we're gonna to add to this, and we're just gonna pour it right over top of it. Just fold in your marshmallow mixture until there's no more white showing. And when you're pretty confident that you have it well mixed up and there's no longer any white from the whip topping, what I've done was I've cut up, these are called Andes candies, and they're just little mint chocolate candies. I cut them up into real small pieces so that I can mix it throughout our mixture here. Now, if you don't have Andes candies, you can use the Ghirardelli dark chocolate and mint. Work just as well, they're the same thing almost. Cut up about 10 of the Andes candies. They're very small, so you'll need a lot less of the Ghirardelli's. Just mix them through. Now we'll just pull out our pie crust that has firmed up nicely in the refrigerator. So we're just going to add to that our filling, our pie filling. Once you've added that, just kind of spread it out nice and evenly. And we'll refrigerate this for a couple hours just to get it nice and firm. Okay, so now we've pulled our pan out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting in there for about four to five hours. So it should be nice and firm. And I'm just going to remove my springform pan. 
Now I'm gonna decorate this a couple different ways. One way is just spraying some whipped cream. I'm gonna put one glob in the middle. And another way to decorate this is I just had a candy bar, just a regular chocolate candy bar, and I shaved pieces off of it. And those shaved pieces I'm just gonna spread out. And there we go, there you have it. That is the decorated cake. Now let's cut into this bad boy. Now let's take a bite of this and see how it tastes. Mm. You get all the minty flavors, you get the chocolate, you get, it's like a real airy, light and airy mousse type of um, filling. And of course you get the Oreo crust, which is terrific. Well, thanks everyone for watching and see how to make this mint green pie. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. You get new videos here every week. And be sure to check out some of the playlists I have off to the side, as well as Vincenzo's uh, recipe. Check that out. It's amazing. The guy is incredible. He always makes food that makes me want to just jump through that screen and eat it. Um, it's just authentic food and it's always fun, nice location he shoots at all the time and uh, you're going to love it too. So if you're not already subscribed, go check him out, uh, see if you like his stuff because I'm sure you will. Uh, so follow that link, check over, see the video that he made, part of this collaboration and be sure to tell him that James sent you and click that big red subscribe button for him as well. You're not going to regret it. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I put new fun videos out every week. And write in the comments below, tell me you're new. I really want to hear that. So until then, I'll see you guys next week.